we're asked to find the derivative function for the given function. We have f of x equals natural log of x times the square root of the quantity four x minus five. So notice how we do have a composite function here, so we could let u equal the inner function of x times the square root of the quantity four x minus five, but then notice to determine u prime to apply the chain rule, we would have to apply the product in the chain rule. Instead of taking that approach, we are going to use the log properties shown here on the right to expand natural log of x times the square root of the quantity four x minus five. We'll begin by applying the product property of logarithms, which states a natural log of x times y equals natural log x times natural log y. And because we have natural log of x times the square root of the quantity four x minus five, we can write f of x as f of x equals natural log x plus natural log of the square root of the quantity four x minus five. But let's write the square root using a rational exponent, which will give us natural log of the quantity four x minus five raised to the power of positive one half. And then from here we can use the power property of logarithms, which is this last property, where the natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x, which means we can write f of x as f of x equals natural log x plus one half times natural log of the quantity four x minus five. And now we can find the derivative more easily using f of x in this form. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x, plus the derivative of one half natural log of the quantity four x minus five. Notice this is going to require the chain rule where the inner function u is four x minus five. So the derivative is equal to one half times the derivative of natural log of the quantity four x minus five which is equal to one divided by the quantity four x minus five times the derivative of four x minus five, which is four. And now to determine this product, before we multiply, notice we can simplify. Four and two share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. So this gives us f prime of x is equal to one divided by x and then plus two divided by the quantity four x minus five. So while this is the derivative function, let's go ahead and add these two rational expressions by obtaining the least common denominator, which in this case is going to be the product of x and four x minus five. So we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by four x minus five. We'll multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by x. Notice now we have a common denominator of x times the quantity four x minus five, and the numerator is going to be one times the quantity four x minus five, which is four x minus five, and then plus two times x, which gives us plus two x. Let's write the final derivative function as f prime of x equals the quantity six x minus five, combining like terms, divided by the product of x and four x minus five. I hope you found this helpful.